Alright guys, what's going on? This is Reaper of Fear, and this is my second time doing it, because the first time I didn't realize that my volume was like 18 billion cranks too much to upload, so this is the second go, so I hope you enjoy. And this, for those who are wondering, this is part two of the uh, Why Are LMGs Dying? Uh, this is, I'm not going to talk about that, but this is the rest of the gameplay until I end up quitting, because this was like a 600 ticket match, and I was getting a little tired of it, so here we go. But, what do I got? Six minutes or so left? Alright. So, I'm going to talk about a little bit about the U.S. justice system, and... I have had a little experience with the justice system, mostly because of my parents' divorce that has been going on for about seven or so years now. And so, through this whole thing, there have been, I, I mean, there's, there's no reason why this should have lasted longer than a year or two, or maybe even shorter than that, but it has. And I think I've thought of the reason why. And the reason why is because our country isn't run on a basis of morals anymore. Our country is run on money. And no matter what division you're in, if you have more money, then you are going to win. I mean, look at professional sports teams. I mean, the New York Giants or the New York Yankees or the Boston Red Sox. They all do well comparing on how much money they are able to sink into their players. And the New York Yankees, for a long time, since they're based in the city of New York, they have hundreds of millions of dollars to sink into these teams, and so their teams won. And they still win, even doing poorly as they are now. They still have a better overall team than the Boston Red Sox. So, when you go to court, it's not about who's right and who's wrong. It's about who's richest now. And last time I checked, that isn't how this country was founded to be. It was supposed to be, everyone has the right to a fair trial. And I think a fair trial is two people walk in, one person, they have a case, and it might be a murder, it might be a theft or something. Uh, prosecution makes their case. Defense addresses this, the jury takes these two arguments and all the evidence into consideration and they decide, and these are non-biased people, and they decide whether or not they believe that this person did it. And then the, I mean, the judge hands down the sentence or lets the guy go depending on how it goes. But that's not the case anymore. I mean, there are appeals and reconsiderations and I mean it just goes on and on and on and it's ridiculous I mean if I wanted if someone sued me and I won the case and they can keep continuing it I might as well throw them their money anyway because otherwise I'd just be wasting the money on lawyers and then maybe they'd actually win so I'd have to pay them like a hundred thousand dollars and that's ridiculous so I mean, my, my whole thing is, is our justice system has gone way past the idealism that it should be. And I think if we want to continue this country, we have a lot of things we need to change. And this is one of them, because while I may not agree with the, uh, some of the punishments handed down, like I'm very strongly in that if pedophiles are convicted, then they should be medically castrated, or something of that nature. And, I mean, their survival rate in prison isn't even very good anyway. I mean, they're their whole separate form of monster in prison, so, I mean, they usually end up dead if they go to jail. But the justice system has allowed these, I mean, murderers and the, I, I mean, people on death row, okay? People on death row. If they get convicted and they get sentenced to death in Texas or whatever state they're in, most normally Texas, um, they don't have the choice not to appeal, okay? And the people in death row, after their conviction, if they 
if their conviction and sentence doesn't get overthrown, they're put to death in about 12 to 13 years. And to house a prison inmate, that's... It's calculated roughly at about $44,000 a year. And so let's do some math here, okay? So, we're gonna do some math. Let's say 44000 a year to house an inmate. And we'll times that by, you know, let's say... Say it gets takes thirteen years. That's uh five hundred seventy-two thousand dollars. Five half a million dollars, almost six hundred thousand dollars is going into these people, and that's just one. I mean, there are dozens on death row. And so, if these people are convicted to die and they have no appeal against why they should die, why should we not just put them to death? If they've obvious, if they've admitted to their crime they don't have a second chance. I mean, if they've gone and murdered 32 people, they don't get another chance. So, why is our justice system like this? I think it our justice system is like this. They're, they're trying to help the man, like the normal people, but they aren't. All they're doing is hurting them. In these criminal cases, in everything else, I think it's time for an overhaul and that we should get back on the right track.